Yo, potent pondering. Do you know that Cardi B fans are so sneaky, snaky, conniving that they online trying to spread misinformation about Nicki Minaj all just to get people to like turn on her? Like this is so crazy to me. Yo, please come in, make sure that you thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. So let's talk about it. So, you know, Nicki is online, you know, she doing her thing on Station Head talking to the fans or whatever. And all of a sudden, we start seeing these tweets turn up and it's Cardi B fans associated with it. And they're saying Nicki Minaj has endorsed, you know, she's voting for Donald Trump in the 2024 election. Um, Nicki never said that. Uh, where did y'all get this from? You know what's so crazy about this whole thing? It's like that just shows you the weakness. Why y'all, listen, Cardi B just canceled the show over the weekend for the One Music Fest. Why y'all not sending her flowers every hour? Why y'all worried about Nicki? Y'all want to turn the public against Nicki so bad? And the crazy thing about it is, is that they know that they, that, well, they try to do it, right? The thing about it that they understand is that a lot of simple-minded black women, as soon as they hear something like that, they're going to hate Nicki because they either they hate her already and they just looking to just hate her more or they're just looking for something else to just nail to her. So I don't understand why Cardi B fans, why right now y'all not streaming any of her music out of the eight releases that came out? Why y'all not trying to figure out why Enough only lasted on the charts eight to nine weeks? But y'all constantly trying to worry about Nicki. Y'all constantly trying to get the public, trying to turn the public against Nicki. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand she blessed in God picky? Huh? Y'all don't understand what y'all tried to do when the tour sold out around the world? Y'all don't understand what you tried to do when the album almost two times platinum? Y'all don't understand? You can't do nothing. And that's sad. So with so many community notes all over the tweets, I've seen a tweet that had 20,000. You know, the viewership on that. People can can see that and have a perceived notion like and first and foremost, let me just say this, right? I don't have anything against anybody who's voting for whoever they want to. If you voting for Kamala or you voting for Trump, that's that's your business. But don't try to put false information out there on a person talking about that they voting that Nikki is supporting Trump. She didn't even come out and say that she was supporting that she was supporting Kamala. Like, come on, Cardi B fans. Are y'all really that bored? Cardi just canceled the show the other day and she posted a, a photo and got a little honeycomb hideout group. Why y'all not off the high off of that? Why y'all not trying to put something together and try to trying to purchase some albums or do something? Like, y'all got wasted energy. You got your energy is too much focused on Minaj Yaji. That's what it is. Your energy is too focused on Minaj and it ain't focused on Cardi. And that's sad that people were really, you know what? That to me, it shows Nikki's power. It shows that this girl is so powerful that you got to do something just to try to turn the public against her. Just to try to make people have, you know, doubts of hate against her. Why? That actually screams weakness on your behalf. That screams weakness on your behalf that you got to do that just to just to have people feel a certain way towards a person. Come on, man. That's grimy. That is grimy. Nicki Minaj. And, you know, she went on Twitter and she put like, you know, y'all talking about her fans and talking about the greater. She said y'all and then put the greater than sign talking about, you know, the fans saying that they hold her down to crazy. I just don't understand. Like, are y'all that bored? Are y'all that bored? I know Glorilla out here killing it and y'all mad because it ain't Cardi. I know Megan is doing a little something and y'all mad it ain't Cardi. You know, come on, man. Let's keep this shit real. Glorilla struck out. I mean, Cardi B struck out more time than any female. She, she's basically like an underground artist putting out songs right now. And I'm sick of y'all coming in my comments talking about Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. And, you know, up. I mean, um, Enough went number nine. She went number nine because she put out multiple versions of it and y'all mass bought it and it dropped. Don't talk to me about F the club up and everybody that lasted on the charge 17 to 20 weeks. Don't talk to me about it. Don't you can't talk to me about it. All right. Listen, next thing I want to move on to. I want to talk about this whole Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion, Desiree Perez, Sean Kelly. Yo, this is so crazy. So um, Tory Lanez put in some sort of ethics complaint against Sean Kelly. That's the lawyer that we, that was originally representing him in the case against Megan Thee Stallion. Well, it came out that Ma that uh, Sean Kelly is associated with Rock Nation. So this whole, I feel like this whole Megan Thee Stallion Rock Nation thing, it just goes deep. Now you got this chick, she on her album talking about Jay-Z and then she ain't never talk about Jay-Z on her album. So listen, um, I don't have the article in front of me because I'm shooting this on my phone right now, but pretty much, 
Sean Kelly prevented any DNA testing being done to further prove that it wasn't Tory um, in, in regards to the pow pow with, Ma with Megan, right? Uh, she also withdrew from his case days before the trial, leaving him in a, some sort of, you know, in a, in a, not really in a tizzy. That's pretty much it. Leaving him in a tizzy to fend for his own. That's really crazy. It was all planned and plotted. I personally believe from looking at it like that. Now, listen, I'll be the first one to say, if you notice on this channel, I don't talk about the Uda. I don't talk about the ooting of Megan. I don't talk about the shooting of her or whatever, right? I don't talk about that. I, I, I merely just try to talk about the music and what's going on like that. And I'm still not even going deep into it, but I do think that's wrong. Rock Nation, like, how y'all trying to have this whole shit sewn up? You got lawyers involved in it too. Not only are y'all trying to manipulate, like, you know, different news uh different news outlets but you got the you got the um the lawyers in on it too now we know when we see the see the name shapiro the that guy he's been around for a while because he was foxy brown's lawyer for a case a while ago but i just think it's so crazy that when you look at this in hindsight you could really see that like yo these people they they try to have the game so sewn up and this is why like you know i'm happy i'd be happy at points when it's like nikki she be holding her own and she be like popping that shit going at rock nation but i just i'm happy for number one that she's wealthy and she can hold it down because these people would crumble her they would try to crumble her if nikki ain't have the access and the, and the you know to funds come on that's crazy so yeah and it's some sort of show that was on netflix is it the reasonable doubt show and um sean kelly you know she was associated with the show and yeah this is yo this is madness i think that if there's any findings against that like oh man come on Yo, this is crazy with Rock Nation. And that all and it all goes back to Megan. And this is why people don't understand. Like, I'm not trying to say it's the all of all, but I think that if you look at good news, how that performed at 100 k the first week out, that was before the whole trial with Tori. After I felt like the everything that was found, you know, the guilty verdict or whatever, Megan was supposed to go up. She thought that she was gonna go up on some 50 cent type shit and you know, do the mini men numbers and wish death upon me, but I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no. She thought she was gonna blow up like 50 cent. But if you actually look at the numbers, she's actually um her numbers have went down. Her audiences went down. Yes, she might have a viral hit here and there, but I truly think that this is karma. It's karma. And I ain't trying to alarm her, but you're going to get hit with that karma. It's going to be the Rock Nation crew. It's going to be Megan Thee Stallion. It's going to be Sean Kelly. It's going to be Desiree Perez. And they said, who was it? Is it Desiree Perez or is it Sean Kelly whose daughter sings backup for Beyonce? Like what type of, like this whole thing is just intertwined crazy. This whole thing go crazy. Yo. And you know what? Quick segue. I, th I be thinking about this. And yo, I understand that people say this saying so much. What song on Cowboy Carter when Beyonce be like, everything bigger in Texas. And then I think about it. Megan got a song called Bigger in Texas. It's like the dick riding just don't stop, baby. It don't stop. But listen, I personally believe that this whole thing with Rock Nation, Megan Thee Stallion, um, Sean Kelly, Desiree per Perez, I felt like they tried to cripple and tried to bankrupt uh, Tory, you know, in legal fees or whatever, whatever, you know, whichever way they try to, not only they try to ruin his reputation, but they just tried to really just throw, uh, they, they really just tried to give it to him on some shit like that. And listen, God don't like ugly. They going, listen, if that's what happened, it's going to come out. It's, <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to come out. Listen, I got something to do tonight. I can't have the camera out because I got to go in my apartment and do something as soon as I get off of here. But, yo, I want to know your thoughts about that. Also, before I get up out of here, I want to touch on this really quick because I thought that this was crazy. Christian, Christian Rock and her sister Tashiki, whatever her name is, right? I don't watch it. This is something I merely seen on the blogs. I seen a post with this girl because she was saying, oh, I got a million hits on my um on my reel. And I seen it with Christian Rock was like, remember you used to make me go down on you at the age of, did she say seven or nine? And either way, her sister acted, you know, alarmed, like, you know, and I felt like this wasn't the first time that she brung that up. But I just feel like that's crazy. I want to ask you a question because I don't know the full details. I don't watch baddies. 
This more so is a question for you. Do you think that Krishan Rock, that they do this for shock value and to like put her back in that algorithm of I'm that, you know what I'm saying, being that bitch? Because you got to realize before she went and got locked down and all of that with Blueface, she was popping on social media. She had the viewers. She had all of that. Everything was going up and going crazy, super crazy. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like she has to find a way to get back in. I just don't know if this is not true. I'm not denying that it's not true because listen, kids, especially if anything crazy happened to her sister, as far as, as you know how that, you know, generational stuff happened. You don't know if it was an uncle, somebody who, who did something to the sister and the sister passed it down and they could have all thought it was okay. Listen, I had a friend who went through that with their uncle and their uncle violated them and... They, they uncle violated him at a very young age and they thought that they was in love with their uncle it's really really crazy really really sick but yo i want to know what you think about that though like do you believe that the sister tashiki or whatever her name is do you think that she really did these things or do you think that Krishan rock is just doing it just for shock value on the show let me know what you think about that. So listen, potent pondering, never pandering. Cardi B fans, y'all bored. Go stream Cardi. Go worry about when her announcement and everything else is coming out. Try to figure out why the last seven or eight songs flopped by Cardi B. Try to figure out why Punteria flopped. Huh? Y'all been chasing that Tusa so bad. You know Cardi's gonna try to come with some sort of Spanish song, Latin song on her album too because she just can't deal with the fact that Nicki got Tusa off and that you wasn't on it with Carol G. Tusa made Plusa. I don't know what Punteria made. You hear me? So listen, potent pondering. Listen, 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 listen. Potent pondering, never pandering. Listen, subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up the video. Make sure that you support the channel. The cash app is in the description. Somebody asked me, they said, why are you always doing videos in your car? And I said something back just to be funny. I said, because I'm homeless. You know damn well I'm not homeless. Huh? I work too hard. I'm a project manager. I do videos in my car because they do better than when I was recording them in the house. Everybody got their niche, baby. Everybody do something that work for them. You understand? Listen, I'm out. Peace.